Canon EOS 1300D. Design and Build Quality Canon has done a fine job. The 1300D is constructed mostly from polycarbonate resin, you might also know this as plastic, which, while not the prettiest substance to look at, feels amply tough in the hands, as well as light in weight. This isn't a camera you want to whip out in a summer thunderstorm or bring on a rock climbing trip, but it'll withstand regular everyday use quite capably. While we're on the subject, the 1300D's buttons are large, pruned back to no more than the basics. That's part of Canon's plan to keep those aforementioned up greater users happy and free of information overload, we suspect, but it does limit the 1300D's customizability somewhat. Some cameras sport multiple customizable buttons, but here there's really just the one Q button to access the quick menu. Other buttons give provide shortcuts to exposure compensation, ISO sensitivity, autofocus mode, white balance and drive, self-timer. The 3-inch screen on the back is impressive in most situations, providing decent contrast, color reproduction and detail that make it a joy to review photos and videos while menu screens look bright and crisp. It's not touch sensitive, though, which does limit your control options slightly, but given the price of the 1300D and its position in Canon's range, that's perhaps not a surprise. On the flip side, it is a surprise that it lacks given the way smartphones have morphed the way we use electronic devices. Performance the ISO sensitivity range looks a little stingy on paper at just 100 to 6400, it can be expanded to 12800 for emergencies. The higher that number the more the camera processes the captured data to compensate for given lighting conditions, so if it's dark the camera has to boost the ISO to maintain an exposed image in fast enough shutter speed for sharpness sake, but the higher the ISO the more image noise that is revealed and, therefore, the more processing that is needed to attempt to counteract it, which typically results in softness. So if you're looking for a camera that dazzles at nighttime shooting, you need to be willing to spend more than 330 pounds, again, we can't really fault Canon too much here given the entry level point. As for the camera's Wi-Fi connection? Well, it works much like most other connected cameras, allowing you to hook it up to a phone tablet running the free Canon Camera Connect app, which you can then use to move photos and video from the camera to the device. The app also lets you use your connected device as a remote control and viewfinder for the 1300D, plus make some basic changes to image settings. It all feels pretty intuitive and slick, although being an iPhone user, your intrepid reviewer wasn't able to test out the NFC contactless connectivity. Instead pairing phone and 1300D the old-fashioned way. Image quality. 18 megapixels may not sound like much in this day of 20 megapixel phone cameras, the sensor's size and the fact that, whatever lens you've got attached, it'll be better than your phone's plastic peephole means it surpasses anything you could capture on a smartphone. In good lighting conditions, you can expect crisp detail, accurate colors and a lack of grainy noise. And that's just with the bundled 18 to 55 mm kit lens. In low light with the ISO pushed up to 3200 and 6400, the onboard image processor does an admirable job of controlling image noise. You'll definitely spot speckles and grain if you zoom in on your computer screen, or print images at poster size, but overall the results are surprisingly clear. The 1300D is primarily a stills camera. But if you twist the mode dial to video you can capture full HD footage at up to 30fps, or 720p at 60fps, and it looks pretty great, again, a big jump above the equivalent clips taken using a phone or cheap compact camera in terms of detail and noise, and there's also far more potential for blurred background bokeh, which always gives your videos a bit of Hollywood sheen.